Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and today we have a pretty big video for you. That's because we have not just one, but three brand new products to introduce you to today. First, we have a full-blown 4K PTZ. Second, we have a security camera with deep learning artificial intelligence so advanced that it can determine the make of a vehicle or the color of a person's hair. Finally, we have a Light Hunter security camera with a whopping 820 foot IR range. So we have a 4K PTZ, advanced deep learning artificial intelligence, and a super range IR camera. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it the one PTZ to rule them all. All right, I'm gonna tell you right up front that this camera isn't for everyone. It's not the kind of PTZ that you're gonna wanna hang on your front porch or put up at your small business. This PTZ is primarily geared toward large commercial installations, maybe some industrial or farm applications. This camera is big, it's powerful, and it's expensive. But even if you're not planning on purchasing this camera for yourself, you should still watch this video because, well, it's a really cool camera. All right, we're gonna do a quick rundown of the specs here and then we're gonna jump right in because there's a lot to look at with this camera. So we've got a 4K PTZ that shoots video at 30 frames per second. This is really unique because one, we're not used to seeing 4K resolution in a PTZ. And two, we're not used to seeing 30 frames per second in a 4K security camera. Usually with security cameras, you have to choose between a high resolution and a high frame rate. With this PTZ, you can have both. Next, this camera has Light Hunter illumination technology, which means it's going to do exceptionally well in lower light scenarios. You're going to get crisper footage. Uh, it's not going to be as grainy or as noisy. Here, our office is right off of a busy street. There are lots of street lights, and this Light Hunter illumination is enough to keep this camera in full color 24 seven, just because of all the ambient light. However, if you're installing this in a place that doesn't have much ambient light, that's okay because of the 820 foot IR range on this camera. This camera can see incredibly far distances at night, and this IR range really blows most other night vision cameras right out of the water. This camera has a 360 degree endless pan, so you can just sit there and spin around to your heart's content. It's got a 90 degree to a negative 20 degree tilt, so uh, it's got a really nice field of view. You're not just limited to the top of the PTZ, you can tilt it up ever so slightly. And the zoom, oh man, this thing has got an incredible zoom. Zoomed all the way out, this is a 5.7 millimeter lens that zooms in all the way to 216.6 millimeters. That is a 38 times zoom factor. Are you salivating yet? Just wait, there's more. If you are used to long range PTZs like this, you might expect there to be quite a bit of wobble when the lens is zoomed all the way in. The longer the camera's lens gets, the more wobble you're gonna have with the wind and other vibrations. That's not the case with this camera because it has a built-in gyroscope that actually stabilizes the footage as the camera moves around. So when the wind blows the lens to the left, the PTZ's motor is gonna kick in and move the camera back to the right, and this happens in such a way that you don't even really notice it. Unless it's super windy outside, which you will see later on in this video, the gyroscope doesn't completely keep it from wobbling, but I think you're gonna be really impressed by the amount of stabilization that this camera has. We've got a ton of intelligent events with this camera, and again, it is all embedded with Univue's deep learning technology. Now, if you don't know what Univue's deep learning technology is, we have a whole other video on our channel, and I will go ahead and leave that link in the description down below. So check that out if you are curious about how deep learning works and why it's important for video surveillance. But this 4K PTZ takes Univue's deep learning algorithms and brings it to a whole new level. Not only are you able to target humans, vehicles, and non-motorized vehicles, but you can also gather certain attributes from these targets, such as a vehicle color, a vehicle make, the color of a person's shirt and pants and hair, whether or not a person has a backpack, 
As you might expect, this camera is not perfect at gathering these attributes, but since it is deep learning, there is always the possibility that this camera is going to continue getting smarter and smarter as Uniview continues to update their firmware. Oh man, there is so much to talk about here, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. Let's jump right into this demo so you can see how cool this camera is for yourself. All right, we got this camera installed up here. When you're installing this camera, just exercise caution. This is about 20 pounds, uh, it's heavy. Use the stuff that they include, the carabiner, the safety loop, uh, make sure you have some assistance. And one more thing I want to point out is that this thing is huge and it's powerful. So obviously it's not going to work with the 30 watts of power produced by a standard PoE or PoE Plus switch. So if you plan to use PoE to power this thing, you are going to need a PoE Plus Plus switch, which is the BT instead of the AT or AF. We have one of those at Nelly Security. It is a four port. I will leave the link to that in the description below. But again, this does come with the power supply, so if you don't have a PoE++ switch handy, you can just power this thing with the 24 volt power supply that it comes with. All right, here we are logged into our web interface. We have this beautiful 4K image, uh, very sharp and detailed. Uh, we have these very simple PTZ controls. Just by clicking on the edge of the screen here, we can uh, move the PTZ around. We can take advantage of this awesome 360 degree pan. It just goes around and around and around. It never stops. Uh, it has this 90 degree tilt. So we are at the top of our tilt and we can go all the way down. So this really does have a nice and wide field of view. We can pretty much point the camera anywhere we want to. We have very little limitations, but now I want to check out this 38 times zoom. Let's see what's a good spot to zoom in on. Let's go ahead and zoom right down this alley. To do that, I'm going to click this zoom button over here and boom, we are zooming way in. Uh, we have not reached the end of our zoom yet. I just want to uh, adjust a little bit. Let's keep zooming. And there we go, we are at this 38 times zoom. And it is actually incredibly windy outside. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but the fact that this PTZ is jiggling just a little bit is actually pretty insane. Uh, if it wasn't windy outside, we would see very few jiggles. That's because of the built-in gyroscope in this PTZ. If that gyroscope wasn't in here, you would be seeing a lot more uh, wiggles and jiggles at this level of zoom. All right, so let's check out what else this camera can do. We have you know, the typical PTZ presets over here. So if I want to keep an eye on our parking lot entrance, I can zoom in a little bit, get that pan and tilt just right and click add preset. And we can call this uh, preset number one. You can see we can have up to 1024 presets. Crazy preset name. We'll call this our home location. All right. And there we go. And now as I am uh, panning and tilting around as I'm zooming in and out, Let's say we want to read this Taco Bell sign, uh, see what their special is for today. Ooh, a $5 box. That sounds good. And then I can click this little arrow and boom, takes me right back home. Uh, you can see it focuses very fast as I'm zooming in and zooming out. Uh, I cannot get this camera to defocus very easily. Let's zoom in back over here at this Taco Bell. What do we have going on? See if we can see anybody getting some tacos. And oh, check this out. Nice, we got a turret camera over there. Is that, is that a Uniview camera? It kind of looks like a Uniview security camera. Let's digitally zoom, see if we can check that out. Man, that might be Uniview, you guys. I'm gonna have to go check that out later. All right, so we are zoomed all the way in here at this Taco Bell. The wind is moving the camera around a little bit. Uh, but again, that is to be expected. It's actually moving around quite a bit less than is to be expected. But then I can just click this arrow and boom, it snaps me right back to my home location, zooms the camera out, um, works exactly like PTZ presets should work. So I'm not gonna spend much more time here. Uh, there's a lot to play around with, with with this camera. So I want to jump right into the menu. Now what we have in the menu is 
it's your standard Uniview menu setup. We have uh, the PTZ controls here. If we want to set a home position, we can, which right now it's turned on, so it's gonna jump right back to that home location. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't really want it snapping around on me while I'm messing with it. We can play with the image. Uh, this is a starlight camera, but this does have an incredible 800 foot IR distance. And you can control all of that here in the smart illumination. Um, the, the control mode right now is on road, but you can change that to whatever. We have all of these settings here to dial in the image exactly how we want it to be. But now I wanna jump into this intelligent event menu because we have quite a bit going on here, as you can see. We have your standard cross line, region entrance, region exit, intrusion. We also have master slave linkage. A ton of things to play around with here, but the one thing I wanna point out is, again, and I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, this camera does have some incredible deep learning capabilities. And I'm gonna show you that with a simple line crossing here. So if I open up our line crossing, uh, let's navigate this camera over here to the front of our parking lot. And I'm going to set up a line crossing detection for right over here in our parking lot so that any time someone drives in here, we will be able to capture them. And you can see that we have these snapshot objects over here for motor vehicle, non-motor vehicle, and pedestrian. Again, we have a whole other video about uh, Uniview's deep learning. Go ahead and check that out. The link is in the description below. But this camera actually does more sophisticated deep learning than some of our other cameras. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So you can see right away, as soon as I have this line drawn, we have all these little boxes that are orange popping up all over the place. The color orange means the camera is detecting a motor vehicle. And we can see that the orange colors, uh, it's surrounding all these different cars. So as cars drive past on the road back here, here, let's save this and go to the live view. So as cars drive past on the road here, we can see these orange boxes following them. Um, and <laughs> that tree over there is turning green, uh, which means it thinks that that is a human being. And right now, if any of these cars were to turn into our driveway, uh, the orange box would turn red, which means that the car triggered that uh, line crossing detection. In fact, let's go back. Let's set this line up uh, vertically so that cars actually pass it. And boom, as the cars start passing that blue line, the orange box around the car turns red. That means that the motor vehicle has successfully triggered this line crossing detection. All right, let's jump back into our line crossing settings and look at some of the triggers that we have available. We can do attribute collection, which I'm going to select that. What that means is it's going to collect attributes of the different cars and people that pass that line. We can upload an image, we can start a recording, we can sound an alarm if we have an alarm connected to that, which we do not. And we can enable trigger tracking. So now what I'm gonna do is set up some line crossing and intrusion events, and we're going to test out some of this auto tracking. Uh, let me get this set up. I'm going to delete this home. And over here where there's less activity in this area of our parking lot, I'm going to set up some line crossing and intrusion detections and then test them out. So here I am walking across this line and you'll notice a couple of things. First, you'll see that once the auto tracking kicks in, it kind of zooms in and out for a second while the camera tries to decide on a good field of view for this scene. Some people like that, some people don't. The good thing is you can change that in the auto tracking settings. You'll also see that the camera is tracking me here for as long as it can see me. That's something else that you can change in the auto tracking settings. You can set up a timeout parameter, which will tell the camera to stop tracking subjects after a certain amount of time. I included this next clip in here just so you can see that the wind is blowing these leaves around and it's definitely getting inside that intrusion detection box. With standard pixel-based video analytics, this might have caused the camera's alarm to trigger since there is movement happening inside that box. But here, thanks to our deep learning, this camera is completely ignoring this non-human movement. Another cool thing I want to show you here is that if I have a smart event parameter drawn here, 
the camera is going to lock the position of that event. What I mean is that as I move this PTZ around, the camera is going to remember where the event was drawn and it's going to keep it there. Now let's test out this line crossing while the camera is zoomed all the way in over here at this Taco Bell parking lot. And there we go, I've triggered this event. Then yeah, as soon as I'm behind those bushes, it's gone. But this just goes to show how much flexibility you have when it comes to setting up these events. Now let's head back into the Smart Events menu here. We'll go to Triggers, and let's turn on this Collect Attributes feature. This is a really cool feature that's going to tell the camera not just to recognize people and vehicles, but also to collect certain information about them. When we pop open this snapshot view, we'll see that the camera is taking snapshots of these targets as they cross that line. And if we click on one, we can see more detailed information such as the color and make of that vehicle. Again, this may not always be 100% accurate, but it will continue to improve over time. Now let's see what information this camera can collect from me as I walk across that line. And there I am popping up just above the vehicles, so you can see the human and vehicle targets are separated for convenience. And there we go, it thinks I'm wearing all black, my shirt is black, my pants are actually dark blue, but hey, I'll take it. And it's correct, I am not wearing a backpack in this scene. So let me grab my backpack and head back out there. And now you can see this time it did recognize the fact that I was wearing a bag. As of now in March 2021, there's not a whole lot you can do with this information, but Univues in VRs will be able to interact more with this deep learning sometime in the near future. So keep your eyes open for a follow-up video when that new NVR firmware drops. And that about does it for this video. Thank you guys for checking it out. And if you're curious about this 4K PTZ, go ahead and click the links in the description below. Let us know if you have any questions about this product or if you're wondering if this camera might be for you. We are always happy to help you out. Thanks again for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.